Om Shanti, today is your 80th day of your beautiful blessing, a blessing where God actually reminds us about the truth. And the truth is that every religion talks about that we are the ones who are going to go to heaven. We are the ones who are the purest of all. We are the ones who are the ancestral ones. We are the ones who are the richest of all in values and virtues. But God says only those souls, not the ones who have just mugged up the whole scripture or who know line by line or word by word the meaning of every word. When Baba says, who recognize me when I come down on earth, who know me as I am, who are soul conscious, because only when you are soul conscious can you recognize God who is completely soul, who is nirakar, who is incorporeal, but in the form of a soul, a spark, a light, a point of energy. And you recognize him and his work, only then can you become pure. And once you become pure, only then can you go into the golden age. Pure means the soul is pure, not just the body. You clean the body and you become pure. No, not just that. The soul with its thoughts, with its habits, that means sanskars, is completely pure. And has made sure that they live in this impure iron age, but still remain pure. A tough thing to do. But yes, only those who are able to do can transition into the next world. This transition is very crucial. So let's see what this Baba has to say over here. Baba says in this blessing, may you have a right to the highest status. And with your elevated stage, elevated stage doesn't mean you're standing on a stage where you get a position. This elevated stage is a stage of your mind. Make Maya bow down in front of you. Maya means as we have understood, lust, anger, greed, ego, attachment, jealousy, hatred, disdainment, laziness, postponement, carelessness and many more things come under Maya, not just the five things. So let's get into the explanation part. Baba says, great souls never bow down in front of anyone. Great souls, they never bow down in front of anyone. Doesn't mean that they don't have humility. They don't bow down in front of any negativity or any impurity or any bad behavior or any bad sanskar. Or they don't bow down in front of any weakness or any negative method of living life. So they don't give in to it. That means they don't bow into it. So great souls never bow down in front of anyone. But everyone bows down in front of them because of their qualities, their virtues. In the same way, none of you most elevated souls who have been selected by the Father. See, it's a selection by God. It doesn't mean that if you remember everything in your scripture or you are a, or you are somebody who is a saintly person who remembers everything word to word in a scripture or follows it is supposed to be somebody who is going to be touched by God or going to be accepted by God. It's a very divine, it's a very secretive process where God knows how many births you have taken and how much have you remembered him in every birth? And who is the one who has done the maximum amount of service in terms of religious services through thoughts, through words, and who has remembered God through their heart? Could be you too. Yes, if you're listening to this. So in the same way, none of you most elevated souls who have been selected by the Father can let yourself bow down anywhere. Means in terms of anywhere means, bowing down means, in terms of lust, anger, greed and many more things as we said. You won't bow down to those weaknesses of a soul, the darker side of a soul. So then Baba says, in any situation, anywhere, in any situation, that means you are put in a situation and environment where people are like that, the atmosphere is like that, the city is like that, where people are mostly angry or irritated or frustrated. That you tend to become like that or you you think like, oh, I have to change otherwise I won't be accepted in the society. Or I have to smoke or I have to drink otherwise I won't be accepted by people. No, you won't bow down. You won't lower down from your elevated habits or sanskars or talk here and there about things and people gossiping. You won't bow down to that level at all. So then Baba says, any situation, anywhere. Or to any of the various attractive forms of Maya, whether it's greed, whether it's worldly positions, you won't bow down to that. Baba said simplicity is very important at the end of days. When you live simple, you are protected by a lot of things in this life, from greediness, from diseases and many more things. Simplicity is actually a protection for us. So then Baba says you won't bow down to any of those things. When you remain stable in a stage, this kind of stage, 
that makes others bow down, you will then claim a right to the highest status. You won't bow down to any weaknesses, but others will bow down to you. You don't force them to bow down to you, but with your humility, with your good behavior, with your right powerful thinking and with your right sanskars, people want to live like you because you're peaceful, because you're following these guidances or Srimat of God. So then Baba says, that makes other bow down, you will then claim a right to the highest status. Highest status in what terms? Like in other places also to pass your IAS exam or IF exams, you have to have good marks, you have to have passed with good marks. Then you get a higher status. But here we are talking of spiritual status in the golden age, where because of your values and virtues and your powers, mental powers, you are able to guide other souls. So you, you attain a higher status in the eyes of God for the golden age, for Satyug, for heaven, which he creates at the end of this Kali Yuga. So then Baba says, in the golden age, the subjects will bow down with respect in front of such souls. Why? Because, not because they are a king or a queen, but because they also have those qualities and the king has much more of those qualities. So the souls in respect of those qualities bow down in front of the king, not because he has got money or status or stature. Not because of those reasons. The world is very different in golden age. So then in front of such souls and in copper age, devotees will bow down to your memorials. From the copper age, 2500 years back, the devotion started. And people instead of the incorporeal god, they started remembering those divine souls or the deities. Lakshmi Narayan, Shri Krishna, Rathe, Ram, Sita and all. They thought that these are gods, but they were divine beings created by God. And God says that, these pictures are your remembrances of your previous births where forgetting God as the most powerful, they only remember the values and virtues of these divine beings and they start remembering that they must be gods, I think, because they were so divine. So they start praying to you as those symbols in the form of those symbols and they revere you for your values, for your, for your powers, for your beauty, for your purity. And that's where the devotees will pray in front of your different forms remembering your powers so baba says this is the right time to imbibe those powers and qualities if it's now it's now or never think about it go deeply into this i leave you with this om shanti